Okay, in 5.2, we're going to be looking at the process of mitosis and cytokinesis. There's a lot of things that happen in this uh, part of the cell's life, um, but it is really just a small fraction of the cell's life. It only spends about um, around 10% uh, of its life in mitosis and cytokinesis. The other 90%, it's going to be in uh, what was known as interphase. So interphase was the G1, S, and G2 phase of the cell's life. And uh, the M phase, it's only about 10% of the cell's life. So when we go and do the lab and we're counting things, there is really not, um, there should not be high numbers of cells that we end up finding in these different stages. So to start off, we need to know what the different parts of the chromosome are because it's going to come into play in this chapter and following chapters as well. So the DNA, uh, when it starts to condense down, it's going to wrap around proteins called histones that uh, help condense it. So you can see over in this picture, you've got uh, the DNA double helix uh, right here. And then the DNA, uh, if we look at it, it is going to wrap around the histones, which are just a cluster of proteins. And then it'll keep coiling, and it will form what's known as chromatin, which is going to be what it normally is inside the nucleus of the cell. And then uh, it's going, when it gets ready to divide, it's going to keep coiling and form the supercoiled DNA, which will eventually form the chromosome right there. Uh, and so it will really start wrapping around itself and condensing. So when we look at the DNA, uh, the DNA plus the proteins is called chromatin. One half of a duplicated chromosome is a chromatid. The sister chromatids are held together um, by what's known as a centromere. And then uh, the telomeres are going to protect the DNA uh, and do not include genes. So all of this that I just said from over here is to the right. So the whole shebang over here is a chromosome. The one half where they've got that box drawn is the chromatid. Um, together you have, they are sister chromatids. It's identical information. This will eventually get split apart during the, uh, the cell division. And then you end up having the centromere is gonna be where the sister chromatids connect right there. And then the telomere right down there is gonna come into play when we are talking about um, the cells copying themselves and not damaging the information in between. So if it ends up damaging the inf information in between, you could end up with things like cancer and stuff like that. So the telomere is sort of a buffer to help prevent any, uh, any damage that could occur. So mitosis and cytokinesis produce two genetically identical so we're going to look at the different uh, parts of that. So interphase, like I'd mentioned before, interphase is not part of mitosis. Interphase, again, was the G1, S, and G2 phase of the cell's life. So it's going to prepare the cell to divide. So during interphase, the DNA is going to be duplicated, and that's what we see over here. Um, you've got the parent cell. This is going to be what one would look like in uh, interphase, uh, late in interphase. So you're going to start to see the spindle fibers. You're going to see centrioles. Um, that is what we have here for the uh, for mitosis. So the real mitosis is going to end up beginning. Uh, it's going to be the dividing of the cell's nucleus. And there's four phases of the mitosis. 
So during prophase, prophase is the first stage of mitosis. The chromosomes are going to condense, uh, spindle fibers are going to form, you're going to have the nucleus uh, or the nuclear envelope is going to start to break down, you're going to have the uh, spindle, uh, the centrioles move to opposite ends of the cell, and you're going to um, have the chromosomes are going to start uh, connecting to the spindle fibers at the centromeres. So that is all the stuff that ends up happening during the prophase of mitosis. And here is an, like, right here is an art version. Here is what uh, that over there is the um, example of what it would look like under a microscope. So that is prophase. Okay, during metaphase, metaphase, the chromosomes line up down the middle of the cell. So prophase is going to be the one that is the longest phase of mitosis. And we'll see most of the ones that we, we do in the lab are going to be in that stage. Uh, the Metaphase is going to be the shortest one of mitosis, but it's going to be the easiest one for you to be able to identify uh, because, the again, the chromosomes line up down the middle of the cell. So that's what you see there. And once again, you've got the art rendition, and then you've got the actual microscopic view of it. So that is metaphase. Anaphase is the next stage. Anaphase, the sister chromatids get separated from each other and start to get pulled to the opposite ends of the cell. So uh, this one, it's going to be hard in the lab to identify. Is it metaphase, or I'm sorry, is it anaphase or is it telophase? Um, and that's just because uh, you don't know when the picture was taken. If the uh, chromosomes were still moving or if they had stopped. So again, here is anaphase. The sister chromatids have been pulled apart from one another and they're getting moved to the opposite end of the cell. The final one is teliophase, or you can say telophase, teliophase. Um, the new nuclei are going to start to form. The chromosomes are going to begin to uncoil uh, back into chromatin. Uh, the spindles are going to start to break down. And also during that whole process, you're going to have cytokinesis happening. So cytokinesis is the dividing of the cytoplasm and the things in it. So it would be the cytoplasm and organelles are going to start getting uh, and an animal cell, it's going to pinch down in between the two, like what you see right there. So cytokinesis differs in animal cells and plant cells. In animal cells, it pinches the cell membrane in between the two of them. In plant cells, a cell plate is going to form between them. And uh, when it does that and it, it grows, it's going to end up um, making a uh, sort of a faint line in between, and that new cell wall will eventually grow between the two to uh, finally separate them. So that is the end of the notes for section two.